this I, I was just I was in the world and I was in New York and I was uh, very much um, aware of what was going on so yeah, it was good to see it and re-see it and stuff and and I think it was a very rich culture when you look back on it at the time it's just a good wild time but when you look back on it there was a good cultural era because there was so much going on so many different kinds of music so many different kinds of film so much art so uh, it, and New York was like a terrible place to live in a lot of ways but it had a lot of richness so we, we kind of portray that it's, a, it's an era it's one of the eras and uh, oh, it's a very time in New York um, it's the time where oh we're talking about him oh yeah oh I didn't tell him anything, he had to do his own research. No, but we, we talked a lot, but James and I talked about his backstory, how he would be, you know, the kind of person that existed in that time. Yeah, most of that's his work. I didn't have a lot to do with researching his acting. Great. How was You know, I think it was just to like take a moment, make sure you enjoy yourself because it's such a, a big production. You know, it's, it can be quite stressful. It can get, it can be kind of overbearing at times. Uh, he was just like, remember what you're doing, remember where you're at, try and enjoy yourself. You know, and and, and that was really important. A really great advice. Exciting time! I think um, I think people uh, are kind of fascinated by that time. Um, it was amazing, as you can imagine. I mean, I was I was working on Boardwalk Empire when I when Terry came in to ask me about it, and uh, you know, I, I, it, it was it, if anything, if nothing else, it was a validation that I was doing pretty good work on Boardwalk. That's what it made me feel like, because they approached me while I was working on Boardwalk, and and, and so that was really nice. And uh, but you're right, it's an intense role, and. Um, and it really allows me to do a lot of things that I've never really gotten to do, and uh, and I feel like I've really been sort of working my whole career to get to this point. Yeah. Well, New York City for sure. You know, I grew up here and I worked here. I drove a truck in Manhattan uh, for a long time, uh, and in the '70s it was it was down and dirty a little bit in part. So. To see New York now, you, 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 you sometimes wouldn't even recognize from how it was back then. The music business, I had no idea. You know, I, I didn't know behind the scenes. I didn't know how, how rough it was and how underhanded it could be. Uh, so it is, you know, it's eye-opening, but it's interesting. That's one thing it is, it's interesting. I mean, it was like, he's my biggest inspiration, to be honest with you. So I asked him a lot of questions and, you know, he lived through it. He lived through the time period that I'm trying to replicate right now. He's actually my date tonight. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully I do him proud. Hopefully, um, I'm, I'm so excited for him to see it because when I saw it, I just felt honest to me. You know, it felt like, it really felt like being back in 1973. Only 13, but I remember going to like New York, so I remember exactly what it looked like. 73 specifically, uh, I bought the first album I ever bought was Goat Set Soup by the Rolling Stones. If you would have told me one day you're going to be working with the guy on the cover of that album, I would have said, great, doing what? What? Uh, you would have told me 